Hello, my name is Daniel Yu, and I'm going to be walking you through how to use the method of characteristics to solve um, the advection equation. Um, so, the method of characteristics is a basic problem solving approach utilizing uh, the idea of the multivariate chain rule um, to be able to solve an equation that looks something like this some functions time derivative plus some other function times that same function with this, uh, the derivative with respect to position. Um, equaling some other arbitrary function. And at first this looks like a mess and since it can take on so many different forms we don't actually know if we can solve it, but um, the method of characteristics allows us to reduce this uh, first order partial differential equation into two first order um, ordinary differential equations which are much easier to solve. Um, so uh, the method of characteristics basically works as follows. Um, taking advantage of the multivariate chain rule um, a function of u which is dependent on two variables, time and position. Um, its derivative, its full derivative with respect to time can be written as uh, the partial derivative of u with respect to time times the derivative of time with respect to time, the full derivative, plus um, this guy here. And um, obviously the full derivative of time with respect to time is 1, so we can simplify and write um, our expression as follows, um, but you'll notice by comparison with the problem from above, we can see that um, the full derivative of time um, matches up well with the left-hand side of this equation if we simply write that the uh, derivative of x with respect to time is equal to this function v, which is uh, has arguments x and t, and the full derivative of u is equal to this function um, f. And so I've written that down here, and it's pretty uh, easy to verify that just by matching up the form of this equation with this equation. Um, and so I will go ahead now and do an example for you, just so you can see how this works. Um, and so, okay, so the example I'm going to do today is um, this problem, which is uh, at first a little bit intimidating, but the same general approach to method of characteristics can be used to solve um, this whole thing. So the first thing to do is to rearrange the problem into the form that, um, that we had before, which is we have some sort of time derivative plus a function times the position derivative equaling some other function. And quickly we can write that the f of x, u, and t is equal to 1 minus u and set that equal to the full derivative of u as per above, and the v of x and t is equal to x, which is the coefficient of the partial of the position derivative, excuse me, um, and set that equal to the derivative of position with respect to time. Um, and then now you can see we have two ordinary differential equations that if we solve them, then we'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate this by separating the variables, and it's a pretty easy integration. Um, you get that x of t is equal to some constant times the exponential function of t. And now if we plug in 0 um, for time um, and set that equal to x naught, which is by definition the position of x at time 0, it's x evaluated at 0, um, then we see that c, the constant um, from integration, is directly equal to um, x naught. So we go, and go ahead and plug that in and we can see that x of t is equal to x naught, some constant with respect to time, and then times the exponential of uh, time. And then if we just simply rearrange we can solve for x naught in terms of x. And the important thing to notice here is that x naught is completely time independent. Um, and that would be important for this next step, which is to solve our second ordinary differential equation. Um, and we can do that simply by integrating, again, separating variables and integrating. Um, and we see that we get uh, this expression for u, um, which is uh, fairly straightforward. And now what we do is we set um, time equal to 0. And notice here that u is explicitly a function of time. This constant a may be dependent on x. But since we're integrating an ordinary differential equation, um, this function is purely time dependent. And so if we plug in um, time equals 0, then a may be some function of x naught, but it's not going to be a function of x. So um, 
because we're at time equals zero. So um, we're going to go ahead and plug in t equals zero. Obviously, this e to the minus t is just one. So we have one minus a, and then we set that equal to um, our initial condition, which is that u of x comma zero is equal to e to the x times the sine of x, and we plug in x naught because we're evaluating this at time equals zero. Um, and now if we simply solve for a, we rearrange pretty easily to see that um, it equals this, and we plug that in to our expression from above, and this is our function. And now to get the fully um, two variable expression, now we simply take the value that we found for x naught above and plug that in for x naught, and we have our solution. Um, I think the most confusing thing on a problem like this is to try to wrap your head around uh, what exactly is uh, x because it doesn't manifest in any way um, in the graph per se. But um, I think the best way to think about it is that um, x is the spread of the coordinates and those in themselves are changing. There's some sort of function of time that represents um, x and that's shifting and we need to account for that by um, because x is a function of time um, in this partial differential equation. Um, and so I hope this helps you um, understand the method of characteristics.